Hello folks, welcome, Debian 12, KDE Plasma. So uh, today I'm gonna to talk about Solar. Solar is something you can program different logic tech type of computer mice and keyboards. And I have three of them to show you. This is not the only receiver. I'm gonna show you unifying and also a gaming mouse receiver. I'm gonna talk a little bit about Solar today. So this is not everybody's cup of tea, but more importantly, if you are in the market for a um, mouse or keyboard to maybe work on two different computers or possibly three, that's what I have. I have a computer mouse and a keyboard that runs three computers. So I'll talk a little bit about that. Filming in 1080, subscription key is in the corner. Welcome, folks. Solar. What is that? It's a weird name. Well, Logic Tech does not make Linux software. So someone came up with this. And that it manages your Logic Tech receivers for keyboard mice and tablets and gaming mice. So this is a bolt receiver. I'm gonna plug in another one. That's a unifying receiver and I'll talk about this and uh, in a second. And the third one is for a gaming mouse. It's dedicated. Sorry, I bumped the microphone there. And uh, that one's called a light speed receiver. All of these are Logic Tech products. All right, so the Bolt receiver can pair up to six devices. So can the Unify. But the technology is different. So my MX Master 2S, which I'm going to turn on, because I have that available currently. And that's what I'm using right now. Um, is online and it's a rechargeable mouse just like the 3S. Both mice are currently running. I'm not going to grab both of them at the same time because that will confuse the system. But more importantly, I can switch hands and I'm just using both mice. Not a big deal. One is sitting at 90%, one is at 95%. They're both rechargeable mice. USB-C if you're curious. That particular mouse the 2S and the 3S have three different channels. What exactly does that mean? That means I can program for the 2S three unifying receivers with three different computers. That's what this tool does. Solar is used to program these receivers. I can do the same thing with the 3S. It has three channels and so does this keyboard it has three channels. So that means that did I program three bolt receivers? Yes. I program them identically, except this is on channel two. I have one on channel one and the other one on channel three. So basically I can use it on three different computers without pulling the bolt receiver out of the machine. Because I do these kind of videos with multiple computers in my office. Now the light speed receiver, which I'm, I'm gonna activate now, and this is currently grayed out. I'll turn that mouse and now you can see that's active. That means I got three mice running. This one, this one, and that one. They're all online. The 3S, the 2S, and the 502. The 502 is a light speed receiver. It's uh, very quick. Uh, I'm gonna say it's down to like one millisecond or somewhere in that range for uh, speed. It has a couple of different selections. The wireless link is encrypted. The 2S is also encrypted and so is the 3S. The Bolt receiver is the latest technology and I'm not sure if it's the same process with the Bolt and the Lightspeed but generally this is the older technology. So let's look at some of this stuff on Amazon if you don't mind. I'll just uh, use this mouse and we'll open this up and let's go to Amazon and we'll talk about the first one. So Bolt. Well, we can find bolts that go underneath your car or we can, you know, this kind of bolt, but let's just use the word receiver. Something close, close enough. All right, so this is what I'm referring to and I'll go full screen. And I'll zoom in a little bit more if you like. So the Logitech Bolt Receiver, you can buy these all by themselves. You can sometimes buy them in pairs, a kit or two. I think there's a pair or two, but 
If they're singles, that's no big deal because also the Logic Tech Unifying is also packaged singly or in pairs. You can buy them raw, in other words. You can program them yourself using Solar. The Logic Tech Bolt, the newer ones, uh, have this, um, I guess it's a greenish yellow color with a bolt on it. So I'm going to open up a, another tab and we'll uh, go with uh, Unifying. So the Unifying receiver, I'll open that up to get a bigger picture on it, um, basically have that orange looking symbol on it somewhere on the front part of the receiver. These also can be reprogrammed and they can be programmed for six different devices. And you can see they're fairly inexpensive. Uh, so about $10 a piece in this package. So that's a little under 20 bucks for two. All right. So basically that's a package of two instead of one, but you can buy them singles also. All right. So that's the difference between the bolt and the unifying. So the light speed receiver, looks like that. Okay. And that's what that mouse is using all by its lonesome for that gaming mouse. So let's talk a little bit about the devices that I'm currently using and what they look like. So MX Keys S. So let's find out what that looks like. So if you're in the market of trying to control more than one computer, you may want to look at some of these things. No, they're not too cheap, but they are nice keyboards nonetheless. This one can be recharged. Okay. Um, you, it's a USB connection, but more importantly, let me open this up. One of the things that I like about it is the touch and feel and it's got kind of recessed buttons. But if you look over there, it has the number one, two, and three on it. That means three different computers. So that's channel one, channel two, channel three. There is where I program these bolt receivers from. So I will program one for channel one, one for channel two, and one for channel three. So hence I have a separate bolt receiver in those three computers. If I have a fourth one, I usually have to just borrow one. I just switch it over to another computer. I actually do have four in my office that I use for Linux for seniors. Just to demo that. Now what's the mouse look like? All right, so that would be, I got two of them. Um, let's see, the Master 2S is the older mouse, and that one looks like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it on so you can see it first, visually here. Uh, it, oh, actually, it is online already. Now I want you to listen to the left mouse click on this 2S, this one. And then I'm going to show you what a 3S looks like. So the 3S looks like this. I like the 3S for multiple reasons. First of all, this is very quiet when it scrolls. I can turn the ratchet on and off, but it's very quiet when I click. I'll put it right next to the microphone. I'm actually using it. Oh, too many clicks. All right. So if I, which one would I prefer, the 3S or the 2? The 3. I actually like that. The scroll wheels also are slightly different. I think the 2S is a little bit more noisier, uh, just perspective-wise, but I, it's also older technology. But it's not a bad mouse. Not at all. Okay, neither one of them, actually. All right, so what did I... I showed you the keyboard uh, of the... Uh, the other one is a... 502. So what's that one look like? Uh, do I even have? Yes, I do have it. Um, so basically, um, I think that's the new one. Mine kind of looks like I'm waiting for a refresh here. No, it's not the hero. I apologize for that. 
but mine looks like that without the fancy lights on it. Yeah, I was just waiting for a refresh. Uh, that's close enough. That's what this one looks like. Um, you can click that button and it'll freewheel. It also has a middle click. I don't know if you, a lot of you folks don't know what that is, but when you push straight down on these things, it'll uh, do a middle click, like make new tabs. I just made a new tab. I'm going to close it. That's what middle click buttons are also good for on web browsers. But more importantly, you can turn on the ratcheting action. You have all kinds of buttons that do all kinds of stuff. And this particular mouse is rechargeable also, but it uses a, a light speed receiver. And that is what I showed here on this tool. And that one can only be paired to two devices. The Bolt can be paired to six. The Unifying, which is older technology, six also. The 2S cannot be married to a Bolt receiver and the 3S cannot be married to a Unifying. In other words, you cannot program uh, 3S to a Unifying. It has to be with a Bolt. And the 2S, the same thing. It cannot be um, paired up with a Bolt receiver. It has to be Unifying. So hopefully that piece of information, if you're shopping for toys to mix and match, um, that information should be hopefully valuable to you instead of wasting your money. Now, with that said, we can also do some stuff with this tool besides pairing and unpairing. And when you are pairing a mouse, I don't care which one of these, I would uh, probably get, if you have the luxury of a spare mouse and you're doing a fresh light speed receiver, unifying or bolt, um, you know, they're, they're blank. You can't just insert it and expect your mouse to be found. I would suggest getting a cheap mouse if you have one. I don't care if it's pluggable or another one with a dongle on it to program these for the mouse part. The keyboards also, when you're programming them, normally when you pair them up, you're just typing a number on your keyboard to verify things. But you need a mouse to click with is what I'm getting at. All right, you can see the battery levels on these things. The 2S is the only one with low battery. Well, not really low, it's 20 50%, sorry. But I don't know why you would want to turn off your backlighting in here, but you can do that if you unlock these. I'm going to relock them. And the same thing goes with some of the other functions. Now, the, the 3S here, uh, I'm going to grab up the 3S itself. And if you don't mind, I'm going to disconnect some of these. That was the gaming mouse. I'm going to put that to the side and turn off the power. And again, that one was also rechargeable. Um, so the 3S, the one that I prefer out of the three, um, I'll just widen this out a little bit and let you see the selections. Now, if I don't like the scroll ratchet speed, you know how when you're scrolling on your web pages or whatever you're using, maybe File Manager, and it's skipping around and you don't like 10, then you can unlock it and change that number and then relock it uh, if you don't like the dots per inch then unlock it and you can go from a thousand to whatever your mouse supports okay and then relock it and some of the other stuff that you can change with buttons okay same thing with the 2s all right, and I'll unplug this one. Now the K850 I didn't show, but I will do that anyways. Um, let me open up a third tab and type in that keyboard. The K850 is a battery operated keyboard. If I can find it in here. There it is right here. The K850, believe it or not, is also three channels. They are marked with three white buttons. So yes, I can program that unifying receiver. And this particular one, if you can see the numbers on that mouse, one, two, three. I had this at one time. I just, uh, I forgot what the, I think it was the scroll wheel I didn't care for. So that's why I switched mice, but that means you know, you never have to, you don't have to use the same mouse with the keyboard. 
they come married that way with the dongle, but you can also use different mice. That's what these tools are, are good for. That's why I have a K850 with a Master 2S, because I'm using a different mouse with this keyboard. But more importantly, I just wanted to let you see the 1, 2, 3 on that one. This one uses regular batteries. This mouse uses regular batteries, not charge or rechargeable. Okay. The 2S, on the other hand, is a rechargeable type of mouse. USB-C, USB-C, USB-C. Regular batteries on the K850. I'm closing that and saying thank you for watching.